good, man? 11.2, I'm chilling with motherfucking evil pimp. This DJ Tendonesia, we doing this shit Friday the 13th in this motherfucker. What's good, man? Yeah, yeah, this evil motherfucker P in this bitch. Representing Gangsta Roll. You know what I'm saying? Get his interview shit going. Dude, I hope we start this. I want to give an interview. Uh, I'm your motherfucker shot out. I'm drunk, so I'm slurring. You know what I'm saying? Come on, little friend. My motherfucking nigga play raw. You know what I'm saying? Everyone knows I'm getting some boat. Everybody in the crew feel clean. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. To get this junk uh, started. But I'm still motherfucking uh, constant. And I'm taking out this goddamn tape. I'm done ass whatever. People don't know motherfucking high shit. I want to know what the fans, I want to know what the fans want to know. That's what I want to know. Alright, well, we can start out with the Stan Man tape. Like, uh, uh the motherfucking Stan Man album is done. It gonna be out this summer. It's called, uh, Stan the Motherfucking Man. Oh, uh, it got about, I think it's like, I think we did 16 try for that motherfucking shit on, uh, Smoke On Records. That's the label that gonna be putting it out. So, Evil Pill ain't got shit to do with when the CD come out, whatever. That's coming out through them. They handling all that. You feel know what I'm saying? So, but y'all look out for that shit in the song. And what's up with the drunk tape, man? That's the the drunk tape. I'm working on that now. But right now, I got Punk Low Fresh on it. I got Miss Logo on it. I got some drop and play it raw. You feel know what I'm saying? And I got some of my homeboys but down here in the GA. Some of my homeboys on this shit. But, um... Once again, know who the fuck you a is. You know, we've always done that goddamn devil shit. But we're trying to do something different with this you now. So this ain't gonna be on no devil shit. Uh, but it's gonna be on some hard shit. Ain't no club shit. It's gonna be still pissy, but it's just gonna be more of uh, what I'm really about. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, I've always been about making money, fucking hoes, and whooping a nigga ass. And this is what this shit gonna be about. All that devil shit. I'ma put this shit out like this. I'ma end all the speculation about what I'ma come with. I ain't doing no more devil shit. That shit dead. I'm doing peace. Do you listen to... Do I what? Do you listen to devil shit? Y'all, when you, even when I rap that shit, I ain't never listened to that kind of music. I did that shit mainly because... That's the shit that was in my head at that time. I listened to three bits. I listened to a lot of messy shit. But when it came down to the double shit and all these dudes out here doing it, man, these dudes really don't know why us rappers for messy business shit. You know what I'm saying? We did it because of the environment that we came up in and that made us think either way to go out and get this money. So we grew up either poor or we grew up in a fucked up home shit like that, those motherfucking devils impacted us a lot. It was kind of like a uh, uh, fucking uh, symbolism of just how we grew up. But these motherfuckers now, taking the shit that we did and making the shit just lame as fuck, you feel what I'm saying? Like, everybody that uh, goddamn can rap in their goddamn bedroom can get a crack version of Fruity Loop and trying to do that shit. And they trying to, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I was a motherfucking nigga that took that shit to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I'm the nigga that made money off of it. I'm the nigga that ate off the shit. But that's because I kept it real. So when motherfuckers heard my double shit, they knew exactly what the fuck I was coming for. You feel what I'm saying? Nowadays, man, it's like everybody in their mama want to do that shit is motherfucking oversaturated. And it just seems lame as fuck now. You know what I'm saying? I'ma keep it a hundred with you. Drunk, sober, whatever. You don't feel like it's a necessary duty to stay in devil shit and smack these niggas around? Yeah, no, like I look at it like this. Them niggas can add the shit. I ain't nobody. I want to see motherfuckers that don't sold some CDs off this shit. I did. Motherfuckers can go and look, and they see the motherfucking sound scans. Y'all can pull that shit up. They see the billboard chart. They see what the fuck I ate off this shit. These motherfuckers that ain't never into the hood in their life, rapping about chopping off heads, 
worst being Satan. But they going to church with their mama, they cutting the motherfucking yard at their mama's house, they doing their chores, they doing all this bullshit. These niggas ain't, they ain't built for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to keep it 100 regardless. And I'm going to say, like, they can have that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the shit I'm going to be on now is real shit that I live, street shit, fucking these hoes, getting that money, and getting drunk. That was the fuck I do. That's what I'm going to rap about. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I want to say this. You know, as we get older, our priorities change. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got kids like my motherfucking son right now. Every time he come over to my house, he want to rap the shit that I rap about. He want to, uh, you know, recite songs and shit. I want him thinking that, you know what I'm saying, his dad's some goddamn Satan whispers. When I say that shit, it's cause it's how I grew up. And the devil had way more influence on me than God did. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I mean by the shit. There was duality. <clears throat> like that song, yeah. uh, Head Above This Water, you feel me? This was a seed planted in the early days. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like this, you know, like when that song, when I did that, I was fucked up because my goddamn, uh, me and my baby mama split up. And, you know, I got, I mean, I was homeless at that point in time. You feel what I'm saying? I was broke. I was just ass out. So the rap game was the only thing that was actually keeping me alive at that time because I would have blown, blown my motherfucking brains out. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was broke, homeless and shit. So when I did that song, it was pretty much let motherfuckers know that, you know, we all struggle. We all go through these motherfucking hard times in life and shit. But if you can keep your head above this water, man, you cool. You just gotta let God take control of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't put your motherfucking uh, uh, cars with the devil. Cause he gon' fool you. He fooled me. You feel what I'm saying? When I was coming up, rapping about devil shit and all this, making money, I thought that shit was cool. Cause the devil loved that shit. I, the devil, the one that made me blow up and made money off this. Cause I was preaching his motherfucking evil and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And I realized when I was making this money and I had all these fans, I wasn't happy. You feel what I'm saying? When I'm rapping about shit I'm rapping about now, just being me, I'm happy with the music. You feel what I'm saying? I'm happy just doing what I do and being me. You feel what I'm saying? And just doing the motherfucking devil's dirty work. And that's what motherfuckers need to realize is we all gotta die. We all gonna be God. We all gonna be, you know what I'm saying, Satan, one or the other. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta choose your path and, you know, uh, put your hand and your love and God, you feel what I'm saying? Because that's what's going to make you happy at the end of the day. That's coming yes. for peasy, niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So oh, real. I want to put that shit to rest about this devil shit because I get asked to do those goddamn songs every motherfucking day. Come hit me up on Facebook, Twitter. Hey, you like, you hop on this song, it's on the devil shit. And I got to constantly tell these niggas I don't rap that shit no more. Yeah, that fuck that okay. nigga jump was that that was actually not devil shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna never do the mainstream shit like I don't you know, uh, I'ma keep it on the ground. I'ma keep it with the same sound. I mean it gonna still be the hard beat, the hard rap, all that shit. It just ain't gonna be no more of that uh Satan shit and that devil shit and all that. I mean I don't want my mother to not no one doing the shit. I just want motherfuckers to realize that, you know, when they rapping that, they got these kids out here, our kids out here, thinking it's cool to be on the side of evil than to be on the side of good. Now, if you rapping that gangster shit, eventually grow up, and uh, if you a gangster on Wall Street, you can relate to the shit. You know what I'm saying? If you a gangster in the hospital as a doctor, you can relate to the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yet you gotta be a gangster in anything you do. So rapping that gangster shit is just gonna get these kids ready for adulthood. But when you rapping about that same shit, that's putting them on the side of evil, which is a totally different thing than being a gangster. You feel what I'm saying? 